How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the first... How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Starting every Friday now, moving forward, we are going to give you guys an inside look to what's going on behind the scenes here at Smetting Performance. So, this is the first episode we're doing, this is the first Friday we're doing this, and let me show you all what we're working on. Let's start out with the big boy. This is our 540 cubic inch supercharged big block Chevy. This engine was purchased by a hot rod restoration shop and it is all done and ready to leave. It's a full turnkey package, full serpentine kit, everything polished, EFI fuel injection. Between me and you, this is our most underrated engine that we offer. We advertise it at about 800 horsepower and 800 torque and I cannot make it, I cannot tune it to make less than about 860 horsepower. It is such a safe tune up, it's not even trying and it just makes power. One last look at it before we move on. I'm sure I'll show it again, it's just so cool. On the machining side of things though, we actually have a new CNC machine that I want to show you guys. This is our Rottler H85AX fully automated CNC cylinder hone. And right now we are honing a Dart 6 bolt LS engine block. It's going to be a 427 cubic inch motor. Uh, this one in particular is going to be twin turbo, about 1300 horsepower. And after it, I have another one lined up and ready to go. This machine's super cool. It actually will finish honing a hole and then move by itself to the next cylinder. So let's watch it for a second. It's almost done. Yep. It's going to come out, take itself over, let me know it's done. Let's see, uh, so I'm at, I got 4,000, right now I'm just roughing it to size. So I still need to take out one more thousandth. And we're done. So, come here, cycle complete. I want it to take out another thou. Enter that, cycle start. It wakes up, moves over super cool. Well, let's just watch it for a little bit. This is, this is worth seeing. So it's gonna go into the hole. It'll size itself to the diameter. It's then going to check to make sure it doesn't hurt itself with the bottom stroke. And let's see, we've got about one thou to go. It's feeding in pressure. There we go. One more ten thousand. And now it's going to move itself to the next hole. Super cool. This machine, zero ac I mean, 100% accuracy. It will hone the holes within one ten thousandth of an inch. Super cool. There's a lot of other features that make it cool. I'm going to do this, I'm going to give this machine its own video in the future. Uh, but for now, it's running. I can walk away. It'll hone that block. I can come back. It's done. On the floor, Shay is working on a 441 cubic inch naturally aspirated LS3, as well as a 427 1500 horse supercharged LS. This motor has an RHS aftermarket block. It's got a billet center, center counterweighted crankshaft, as well as billet Oliver I beam rods and some JE Ultra bad dude pistons. Let me roll it over real quick. So y'all can see the guts in this thing. So center counterweights, all over rods, really stout combo. We've got another 427 LS. This is one of our power adder long blocks. All it's waiting on are some custom Smith Bros push rods. They have already shipped. They should hopefully be here any day now. And this guy can also leave. Got a short block ready to go. We've got a bunch of Fords right now waiting on oil pans still from Canton. This motor is waiting on a fully polished, 
I think I might, I'm going to get these backwards. One of these is getting a full polished tunnel ram intake and the other one is getting a full polished single plane intake. We still have this 416 LS3 available, turnkey, retro package. Mike's getting ready to do a whole bunch of short block 383s over here. We've got this 383 that we're doing a real cool Pontiac blue paint job on. Put the manifold on there. Kind of get a feel for what's going on with this guy. Kind of cool, something different. And in the dyno today, I have a 383 Extreme waiting on me to come tune it, run it, break it in, test it, make sure it's all good to go. This engine which optioned with Holly Sniper EFI along with Holly Hyperspark Ignition System. So both of those components will be tested and tuned together and stay on the engine when it leaves to go to the customer. So when he gets it, all he has to do is wire in these components to his vehicle. It's already tuned, it's already tested. And it's ready to go. After it dynos, I've got a 406 eliminator to do, 520 horse deal. Pretty slick. And I think that's about it. After Shay knocks out these two 441s, this one 441 and the other 427, we're going to gear up and do a bunch of Fords. The Ford guys are going to be coming up next pretty soon. So. I can hear that my Rottler is done machining back here. Let's go check it out. Yep, cycle complete. Right now we're just roughing. And so I rough it 3 thou to size and then I'll come back and finish it. And literally, look at this. So at the very top of the bore, I'm 3 thou from size. Go to the very bottom. 3.1, it's within one ten thousandth. Hey, what's also really slick about this one is it is a six stone holder. Traditionally, these hone heads are a four, a four stone holder. And the bore might be straight this way, but this way or this way, it might be a different diameter. It's not a perfect circumference. Whereas the six holder achieves that. Whenever it hones, this bore is completely 360 degrees, the exact same setup. So what's really trick is, let's see, so this left bank is completely done. Now I need to do the right bank. So I'm going to turn off the left bank holes and turn on the right bank. Let's roll the block over. We can go ahead and move to our first hole. It'll come over right above where I programmed it. Now we can grab this guy and bring it down manually just to set this up. Make sure we're centered. Let me turn the spindle. Make sure that we're gonna hit the hole. Let's come down nice and smooth. There we go, perfectly centered. Now, I'm gonna to come to operation. I'm gonna feed the stones to the diameter of the block. It'll take a second, but it'll get there. Should be almost there now. So you can see it's slowly feeding out the stones to reach the exact diameter of this hole so we have a new starting point. I can hear it almost touching. There it is. So it wants to hone out 128 thousandths to go. So first I'm going to zero my stone diameter. Come here and I'm going to tell it to knock out We'll start with a hundred thou, just to get it running. All right, so now I'll just cycle start. Oops, there we go. It's gonna come back down. 
And if I did my job correctly, it'll go right in the hole. Feed itself the diameter again. Z crash detection. Clear. And we're roughing. Super cool. We're trying to make everything a little more automated, a little more efficient. We're investing our money in the right locations and the right areas to help us give you guys the most, to help us give you guys the best product available on the market today. So this is the first episode of the Friday weekly updates. They're gonna be a one take style, so you guys get to see an unedited raw version of us blubbering and stuttering through the shop trying to make videos. And yeah, I hope you like it. Leave a comment below and I'll see y'all next week.